Where do, do you live around here, Thomas? Or? Uh, not far. Ah, I not far. So what, what do you believe? Do you believe in a creator, Thomas, or what's your position? Uh, yeah. You, uh, I'm, more, I'm more pantheistic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can you explain to me? Um, I think the whole universe is a manifestation of God. Do you mean God. everything is God? Are you saying? Yes. Okay. All right. I think um, certain things are more aligned with, with what God truly is. You know, there's chaos and order. Things are ordered. Things are peaceful. Um, it's more godly than war or chaos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, what led you to believe that pantheistic idea is what? What what do what led you to believe this? What I learned, what I experience, um, what I feel, uh, So you you mentioned one intuitive point. In Islam, we believe intuitively we believe there is one creator and the creator is distinct from creation means the creator created the universe but the creator is not creation does that make sense yeah. right does that make sense yeah. so that goes against with the pantheism pantheism okay, like say pantheism saying god is everywhere if i understand you correctly yeah. that's what you can say so we don't say god is everywhere God knowledge is. So, say where, for example. Where is God not? Sorry, say again? Where is God not? Uh, God, so, God tell us who is he, first of all. And we can rationally come to a conclusion of that. First, if God said he is one, he is self-sufficient, means everybody needs sustenance, but he doesn't need sustenance. Can I ask you a question? You believe in evolution? No, I, I think let's stick with the first point. I think okay. this is a, another <laughs> discussion. So if okay. we can stick with one discussion at a time. Okay. So creator said he is providing the sustenance. The creation is dependent on sustenance. He's independent of sustenance means he doesn't need in sustenance. And the also creator telling that telling us that he doesn't have a father, neither he has a son. And anything we s you see and observe is creation, therefore they are not creator. Creator is distinct. But did God not make everything? Yes, He got made everything. That doesn't mean He become the part of the creation. Okay. Do you know why? Because if you become creation, so God is all-powerful. If you become a man or a statue or any other object or any other worldly things, right? This has got defect. This is something not uh, has godly qualities. So, and then you cannot attribute those things to the God because God is far from imperfection. And that is on this book, you know, basically then, the small booklet, you know, explain this. Far from imperfection is his creations. Sorry, say again. I... What about his creation? So the creation, yes. yeah. Is it not perfect? No, no, what I'm saying is creator, this is the definition of the creator. God created the universe with balance, right? I mean, if you look at the sun, the distance of sun, it's preci precisely measured and it's not closer. That means too hot. <laughs> not too, yeah, too far. So, yeah, so it's on a perfect balancing. And Allah tells us he is the designer, like, Allah said, Allah is the creator, He's the originator and the musawir, the fashioner, the design. So everything in this universe, He designed, like for example, your lips, your tongue, your hair, your eyebrows, right? Yeah, everything on an order, right? In an, and Allah said, you know, look at yourself and look at you know the universe and the horizon and you will see the sign of god right so, so the sign of god is embedded within the creation 
So you see the signature basically. But the, the, the everything he designed was perfect. Yes. Yes. What about people? Do you, are you accepting of, um, say, homosexuals? So I think that question comes. What is the purpose of that creation? So there are two questions. First question, whether who God is, what God want from us. That is where how do we know what should be our purpose, and within that purpose, how do we know? How do we know? Right. Yeah. So my question to you. What would be the most rational, rational way to know that what is our purpose? Can we define our own purpose? Is it logical to define our own purpose? Means you can say, oh, I can sing, I can dance. To an extent. Yeah. Explain to me. Yeah. Because. Your purpose is created by your relation to other people. You know, I think we are a social creature. We exist uh, in relation to others. For example, you, yourself, me, our parents are in us, our grandparents. No, I are think in that us. that is more of if you can highlight it. What should be the, our relationship within our surrounding, based on our, our moral standards, what I right? Say is our purpose is defined by what is necessary in the world uh, and, and in, terms, in terms of helping other people okay so i think if we touch up on the objective can we define our own purpose not what i am saying is right what is wrong i'll say yes if you're aligned with something greater than yourself yeah like that so in islam we are saying no yeah. you, can't. you are not your own creator no, I'm not. Right, yeah, I'm not my own creator. No, and we true. know there is a creator. Yeah. By, we have looked into that, that without creator, the creation cannot come into existence. Mm -hmm. So the creator should tell us what is my purpose rather than I chose my own purpose. How do you know that it's God or Allah speaking? How do you know it's then telling No, I think, that? let's agree. Do you agree logically what I have said? As far as I understand, yes, I think so. Yeah. So in that case, if we believe our source of information is external to mine, then I will have to listen to the command of that external entity. Considering yeah. the message, if I check the message, and if I come to know that that message is come from that creator, then if the creator say that whatever I'm doing through my desire is wrong, you and me and whoever a rational person would say, okay, I agree with this message. Who, who's to say what's wrong and right? Allah, the Creator. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. And um, do you think uh, it's, uh, it's timeless? It lasts forever. Oh, sorry, I didn't get you. For me, the word is. is transient runs out of time and you, I think I think any way you express something has a sell by date on it I not sure I I get you what you don't have to agree but that's what I think no and I think so um, are you saying that I God is not the source of guidance or the the creator no, is not the God source is 100%, of guidance. guidance yeah but I would say... The question is, how did he communicate that message with me and you, right? Uh, yeah. And let me share with you... What I would say uh, is... Let's say, I, I'm not a homosexual. Let's no. say if I was a gay person... No, I think we to, we're going to that part. Okay. We're going. Okay. Yeah. First, we have to establish that. Where the principle come from? If we say, okay, we can define our principle, then anybody can say anything and they can set a standard for themselves. Yeah. But what we are saying is, can we really set that standard that I can guide myself? Or my maker will tell me what is my, my purpose in life. So what we say that God sent, not only created the universe, he sent messengers. And the messenger comes with proof and evidence. 
proof and evidence. Uh -huh. And once you look into the messenger life and look into his proof and evidences, investigate that. And you know, after your experimentation and looking into doing research, and if you know that these indeed are the messenger of God, and they are telling the truth that Allah is the creator of the universe, and this life is a test. Do you think there will be another religion after Islam? Sorry, no. Islam, is, uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Islam is the most recent religion, right? No, Islam is not recent religion. Islam. How old? Correct. Islam is the religion of Adam. 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 In Islam, we believe he is a prophet of God. Adam and Eve. Then. Adam. Yeah, Adam, not Eve. Eve is his is his wife. Okay. Yeah. Allah He's created. Yeah. First man. First man. Adam is a messenger of God, prophet of God, right? And then Islam is the religion of all the prophets. Abraham. Do you know Abraham? Yes. What do you think? Do you think he's a Jew? I don't know. I don't know much about it. Yeah. Okay. Abraham was a Muslim. Means the one who submitted towards God. So Muslim by definition, someone who submit himself to God. So Allah tells us that in the Quran, Ma can I uh, that Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian but someone who okay. devoted to Islam someone who submitted himself to by definition by Muslim. definition Muslim okay. so whoever submit to Allah the creator only one and disassociate with the false ideas and the God in the surrounding then it come in become a true submission because imagine if you don't reject the false god and false ideas, and then you, you, it will be chaos. Because in one point, okay, you know that, oh, the creator is truth, but then again, also false god. And then you will be in chaos and corruption in your mind and issue. Yeah? You, will, you will find hard to reconcile. That's why the Islamic testimony said, La ilaha illallah. Means reject the false god, illallah, worship alone to Allah. So once you eliminate the false ideas, the false God, then you will only truly worship Allah. And and prophets, if you look at their community, they bring sign to their people. For example, they the prophet shown their miracle. Like for example, we believe Jesus yeah. Peace be upon you. Isa, Isa, yeah, Isa, yeah. Isa in the uh, also prophet. Isa is a prophet, yeah. But Quran mentioned that he he had a miraculous birth. He speak in the Can cradle of his question? mother, yeah. Uh, so Jesus was born two thousand years ago, ish. Yeah, roughly, yeah. And Muhammad is after Isa. After Isa, yes. How, how much? Around time? five, six hundred years, yeah. Okay. Around that time. Okay. And. Um, um, Shall you go back to the question again, you know? Yeah. You know, where, who define our purpose? Yeah. Rather than subjectively saying, why you don't like homosexual, why don't like this, why Muslim do that, why? All of the question can be answered could on the le what? on the lens. Can I, can I yeah. refine my question? Yes, please. Could a Muslim be homosexual? So this again? Could a, uh, a Muslim be homosexual or homosexual? Could they be Muslim? First of all, Muslim is someone who submit to, to Allah. Okay. The homosexuality is a sin. It's a big sin. Yeah. It doesn't take away from Islam. But Allah said, do not go. Do not go near to that. What does it say exactly in the Quran about this? Sorry. Allah direct there is no direct verse oh, okay. okay but Allah legislated a way Allah because guided I know, I know in the Bible it says the same thing it says uh, don't lie with a man something like this but I don't know if I agree with this no what I'm saying is that will I that question I, I, will I, be invalid uh -huh. if you that question will be invalid once you know that you cannot define that answer what do you mean who set your purpose? 
two set my pairs because this is a very subjective thing okay based on this assumption because i like it so much doesn't make it true the truth is something to we but if you love someone another mm. uh, can i ask you a question yeah sure if you woke up and you fell in love with a man and you said i, I, I don't i don't control this Look, feeling fine how would you what would, how would you go about it what would you do so 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 allah created us the purpose is to test us test us to something that you love so even if you love something if you allah saying this life is a test sure. so if you know this life is a test and if you do have some other people some people say look i strongly desire alcohol but yeah. i have give it up because i love allah okay. yeah so homosexuality is not only one thing you will see many many many, many desire people right allah talks us all those desire allah said don't do this because this will these are the self destruction means if you do this you will earn the displeasure of allah the creator because creator created you to worship him and i understand why he wouldn't like alcohol you know it's your poison is poison alcohol yeah you're poisoning yourself. it is a no brainer things you know but for allah say sexuality i say you can be aligned with god as much as anyone else and be no like, what whoever you like uh, in my opinion l let me make it myself correct i am not saying that if someone homosexual cannot be a muslim i am saying clearly that uh, we have to allah allah created us this world to test you and if he he knows what you love so allah will test you something that you love allah tested abraham allah tested abraham and said there's one I, I, I you know allah to... thrown the prophets into fire to test them which one abraham abraham was thrown into fire yeah abraham was thrown into fire by people not allah thrown it okay but of course allah saved him but and he survived oh. i mean there are many tests we we see from the life of prophet right they gone through extreme severe difficulties yeah so life is a test and that been exemplified throughout the scriptures throughout the life of prophets right now islam gives us a a complete guidance to live our life right, right. and do you believe the objective morality should come from god by objective morality mean objective morality means I'll give you an example is it allowed to have sex someone to have sex with his mother <laughs> on what standard because uh, i mean sex can lead to a child if you inbreed the child can be born when disabled or but uh, your first instinct your heart speak, spoke the truth you know you said no <laughs> your first instinct your heart spoke the truth i'm a very a critically think things that's what i that's why i posed that question because you are critically thinking so that that moral stance so now because uh, I'm, i'm i'm asking no. myself why why isn't it allowed and i don't know why i just instinctively feel that you shouldn't be able to do that however i don't instinctively feel that someone shouldn't be able to marry a man or a woman or a woman marrying a woman now i'm i'm putting that one standard your one of your standards say is wrong to have sex with the mother at the same time homosexuality you are okay. saying you see i'm just putting the tester uh, that okay different. no it's not different it is it is very subjective <laughs> you know why because right. it doesn't come from uh that one point i agree something that with my desire telling me another point my desire telling me this is wrong There so is we using it's because some of the most spiritually motivated people i know are homosexual and they are the, they are the best by by the five pillars of islam it's what the five pillars so what gives to charity i, I think that that standard these, also these, we can easily these you know this person would be the best uh, muslim right if he was, now if now he was now, in islam. now i think he, he, is, he likes he likes men and i think that's fine okay fine now you have used an argument for testimony because you believe those people are good yeah and you believe their way of life is correct so you taken yeah. them as a role model and based on that model, I don't believe it. 
No, but that's what. Right, because so role model is someone good, you follow. Because a good person that's anyone it, else. Hey, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You supported definition. that claim. So what we are saying is just because a role is what someone plays and a yeah. model is someone. Now, not a real thing. instinctively, if you look at the life of Prophet, another group of people, they don't lie normally. They don't never lie. These are the five pillars. No, 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 no. Oh. We're coming to the pillars. Okay. We're coming to the pillar later on, right? <laughs> They don't so, lie. No, the prophet don't lie. Of course. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Yeah. Yeah. And they tell you that they are messenger of God. They shown miracles, physical miracle that the community actually witnessed. And then their their claim was supported by their living standard. Means the people witness that these are they're the prophet of God, good. right? Yeah, yeah. Not good. They are prophet of God. They're beyond good. Beyond good, right? Yeah. Right. One person can say, "Oh, look, I am good." Does it make you a prophet? Definitely. No. So, what? but good must be there, and then that should be supported with the miracles and evidence. Do you agree? Now, Allah sent 124,000 messenger. 124,000 messenger to this world to remind people that this Allah is the one creator of everything that exists in it. Now, now that, to go back to what you said about um, should someone have, have um, a baby with their mother? Um, no, I think let's stick with uh, the creator idea because we are trying to define the objective morality, right? And yeah. objective morality, how can we know the objective morality? And that depends on whether God exists. Because if God exists, then objective morality should come from God and everybody should agree. Otherwise, if you say that something, if you say, okay, what, killing... What, what is another objective morality? Okay, I can give you, okay. Is killing bad or good? But the person who killed, he said, I find, I find enjoyable to kill. Yeah? So that's a very subjective thing. Uh, or if I get join the army, yeah, and I'm kill allowed, other. I'm allowed to kill in the army. Sorry. I, I, I wouldn't think so, but... No, I'm, I am using a particular incident, a killer. Take this example. We don't want to change the example. A killer. Mm -hmm. but, but he loved... Serial yeah, killer. serial killer, yeah. He loves killing. Loves killing, yeah. He loves blood, you know, bloodthirsty man. Uh -huh. Why he, do you think he's wrong? Uh, On what I... What's his pain? Sorry, say again? What's this? People pain. That's why I think it's wrong. But there are painful things that are good for you. Do you know? So the pain can be standard. Like exercise. Or... So for example, like excess, bruise, exercise. exercise. So pain, pain, pain well, it's actually good for it's you. It's a different kind of pain. Because exercise or this kind of pain will give you something good. By the end but of... how do you know that which kind of pain is good and which pain? That again subjective. If, if it benefits you or if you're doing it to yourself, it's alright. But... Um, if you <laughs> if you take someone's son or daughter, that's going to cause their parents immense amount of pain. This this can't be good because it's, um, that's that's the objective truth. That's it. What do you say, objective? So what we are saying is that a murderer, yes. when he kills someone, he yeah. find enjoyable. Uh, you cannot apply a pain standard. Because you have to define what is pain standard and whether yeah, someone. It causes other people pain. Yeah. But it's. But but this person getting pleasure. I think. Um... So, you see, you need a guidance to protect him and others as well. That's why we say, Allah said, Asa an takrahu shayyan wa huwa khairul lakum. Asa an tuhibbu shayyan wa huwa sharul lakum. There are things, I'm paraphrasing, there are things you dislike. But it's good for you. But there are things you like that is bad for you. So Allah said, you know, like alcohol. Many, 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 many people, right? They love alcohol. But you know, it's not good for you, health-wise, right? But Allah did mention about there are good, there are some good in it, in alcohol, but there are bad in it. But the bad outweighs the good. But alcohol and murder. And 
any others, I mean lying, cheating, these all have consequences on be real people, on other people. But being homosexual doesn't. No, I think we are, we, we are coming to that point. I'm saying, I have cleared it myself. <laughs> Homosexuality is a guidance. Now, I am saying, before we set out guidance, is I, that God I, commissioned I, I, I that, that guidance? That people, or people are homosexual just in the same way people are um, English or Irish or uh, black or white or, or brown. You know, it's not a choice. When you say choice, so how can it be wrong? When you say, how can it be right? How can it be wrong? Who defined that? Everyone. No, I'm saying what you are saying is not correct. And based on objective but in standing, your and no, no, not objectively, because no, I be thing. no, I tell you why. There's many black and whites. And no, that's why I say. Uh, many it's, gray areas. No, I think that is important. We need to define whether the God exists because that answer is linked to that. You know that God exists. Yeah. God didn't leave you without guidance, and He given you proof and evidence through prophets and messenger, and this messenger, through their miracle, through their prophecies, through their truthfulness. They confirm they indeed the messenger of God. Sure. Now they are telling you, now they bring the guidance and they said, Allah said this, Allah said this, do this and don't. Now there are a list of do and there are a list of don't. Now, the source is Allah, the creator of you and everything else. Now, Allah said, you know, the Quran uh, in, uh, in Surah Insan, there is a it, chapter. If it meant Islam, for me personally, and you can believe whatever you want, and everyone can believe what they want. But for me personally, if, if, Islam, if Islam meant, if being a Muslim meant that I would have to say people shouldn't be gay, then I couldn't be a Muslim. What I am saying is... Because I love Islam, I love peace. I love that's, what, that's what I say. I take have that on mind. Islam And means... I'm not gay. I do. No. I, I, I like men. No. But I think people should be allowed to be gay. That's everyone's personal choice. Of course. Am, course. I, am I forcing anyone saying, oh, you can't be oh, gay? Definitely no, not. no. Definitely not. What I am saying here But is... I, know, I, know, I know of Muslims who, you know, their family has um, completely abandoned them. Never speak to them again in their life because of who they would like to be in love with. And this to me, I don't know about that. Okay, I think we are, I will answer that point, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not disregarding. Uh, you have two questions, I will answer that. I haven't okay. answered two questions of you. Uh -huh. you. I'm, the question I'm asking, do you believe the concept of God that I have explained to you? Most of it. So Allah is the creator. Yeah. He's alone. He doesn't have partner. And we are not attributing any human or we are not giving any worship or any share of worship to anybody else other than God. You agree? Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. That he came for humanity to spread the message, to guide people to the truth. However, I would say even a messenger of God, even a prophet is as human as anyone else. What I am saying, that's what Allah said in the Quran. And Islam is perfect. Islam is perfect. But, you know, what, what? but humans are not. That's yeah. a good question. That's a very good question. You already believe. You are, to, you are already a Muslim. Muslim. You know why? Whoever say Allah is the creator without associating partner with him and believe those prophets Allah sent as a guidance for mankind with books. That is the condition to become a Muslim. So... Okay. Now, that condition, that condition, once you realize that it is a necessary upon a sincere person to accept it, be a Muslim, give, start giving rights of God. Imagine Thomas, today, how many times you breathed? How many times you have taken oxygen? How many times I breathe? Yeah, how many times? 
Thousands. Uncountable. Just today, right? Uncountable, yeah. Now, <laughs> do you not think that Allah should get receive some gratitude? 100%. 100%. Allah is not sending any direct debit no. mandate. <laughs> <laughs> direct yeah. debit, no, no, no. Direct yeah. debit yeah. mandate to give you give him some money. Yeah. No. Instead, Allah says that it is the God consciousness rich to him. No blood. Allah said, Allah does not want, want blood, flesh, or any other thing apart from the God consciousness. So, the sincere submission to Allah will lead you to the paradise. You know, we believe there is paradise. So, this life is a test. And whoever passed this test, you know, it's an exam, they go to the paradise. But everyone, whoever go to the paradise, it will be through the mercy of God. But in order to attain mercy, the one must be obedient. The word obedient. If Allah said don't do, don't do. If Allah said do, do. And I ask Allah that may he strengthen your heart guide you to, to Islam. Thomas, you are a brilliant man. You know, I've, I've spoke to many people on the street. And honestly, I find you, you're an amazing person. And I ask you to become a Muslim. You know, I, I'm formally inviting you <coughs> to come into the fold of Islam. Because Islam that. touches on your heart already. Definitely. And Allah, when you open the book of Quran, yeah, you will see that how Allah is talking to you. Allah is telling you, I am Tanzilum min Rabbil Alamin. This is a revelation from the maker of the universe. Miss Allah is telling to you when you read it. And Allah said, I will guide you. Follow, follow my instruction. And that will be the ultimate rescue for you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. So would you like to be a Muslim? Yeah. I would definitely think about it. Why not now? Because um, I will go and read the Quran properly. Yeah. Let's see what it's about. I need to understand it more. Yeah. I need to... Um... Brother Thomas, see. I'll tell you one thing. How does, how, how does one become a Muslim? Very simple. <laughs> and I'll, you, you know, I would like you to be Muslim, honestly. You know why? Why? Because I cannot guarantee, neither you can guarantee, that in next hour we will both be alive. True. So therefore, there is no guarantee. No, our next second. Next second, next second, yeah, it's true. No, sir. Thomas, having said that, my brother, inviting to Islam means, let me explain to you, that's true statement. You say that Allah is the only true God worthy of worship, and Muhammad in his Muhammad is his final messenger. Once you say, believe, and act upon it, you're a Muslim. Other eventually, eventually other, other, yeah, other, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna have to go. Are you sure you're not taking it? Oh, no, how do you? Uh, what so, that's why I will, I will say to you, you repeat with me, okay, and then you become a Muslim. I'll do it, okay. Give me your hand, my brother. It was nice to meet you. It's nice, to meet you nice to meet you, and it's an honor for me because it's a, it's, a, it's a big decision that you chosen the path of Allah, the Creator. Say Ashhadu. Ashhadu. And La ilaha. La ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammad. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I testify. I testify. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I also testify. I also testify. Muhammad. Muhammad. Is his. Muhammad his. Final messenger. Final messenger. Wow. Give me a hug. You know, that makes you a Muslim now. Allah means the God is great. Did you feel anything while you are saying those words? I did, yeah. Did you feel any li any weight has been lifted? Like, uh, yeah. And I have witnessed many people become Muslim. They say the same thing. And that is you can feel as a sign that what you testify that indeed Allah is the creator now my brother your duty is to 
five pillars of Islam, which is prayer, five daily prayer. Five prayers. Yeah. Prayer five, days, that's five times a day. And in order to do that, one must be clean himself. Do shower, and I will share you some video how to do the shower and how to do udu. Like these are the condition before your prayer. At the moment, take only two things with you. Just concentrate on salah, like prayer, five daily prayer, and it will be make you a a person of gratitude. Just think about the blessing you have received and just say, I am, I am praying to show my gratitude to Allah and I believe you will rescue me when I am in trouble on the day of judgment. Because we'll, we'll, we'll die and we'll meet Allah and we'll face question. And there are a lot of non-Muslims. They will go to day of judgment and when they realize they forgot to done what they should have done. They will say to Allah, Qala Rabbir John, Allah sent me back with regret. Me and you and we don't want to be one of those who will have regret and then we don't have to do anything. You know, you know, incapable of doing anything. So it is the time now to fix ourselves before it's too late. Like my brother, me and you, when we go die, we are not taking anybody with us to the grave. It's just me and you. Thomas, let me take your number. Because you are my brother in Islam, you know. You were brother in humanity before the discussion. And after the discussion, you might become my brother in Islam. But, you know, slowly at a time. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. He understood you? Yeah. Yes. He wanted to congratulate you. Salam means uh, Thomas. Sama means he is when he's saying peace be upon you. There is one, but he's become a French. Welcome to your. He was a French brother. He embraced Islam. When did you embrace Islam? About nine years ago. Nine years ago. Never look back. <laughs> Thomas, do you mind if I take your number? I'll send you two videos just about pray and you can come to mosque yeah mm -hmm. and you can see how prayer done and make some commitment you know and I I honestly believe you are a very sincere brother Thomas and inshallah Allah will Thomas Duffy thank you for your time Aziz when shall I call you when is the best available time Anytime. Can I see? Uh, Mostly after about three o'clock in the day. Three o'clock to four o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Sun. Tomorrow, yeah, maybe sun. or Sunday. W where do you live? Uh, not very far. Over, uh, so we'll go for a meal. Oh wow! And also it's on me. Oh wow! Because you're my brother. Thank you. We'd like to celebrate this with meal. The food of Islam. Look, food. Look, <laughs> food. We are friends. We are brothers, right? And Allah said, in the Mu'minun Aikwa, those believers are brothers. Your own brother will not be your brother sometimes because if he doesn't be on the same faith. So the definition of brother is different in Islam. Okay. It's not necessarily your blood brother. Yeah, you can say your blood brother, but the true brother is the one who believes the same thing. Be Thank you so much. Look after yourself, Thomas. It was a pleasure, yeah? Thank you.